Man, don't you just hate it when your front door squeaks like that? Maybe yours is doing that right now, huh? Maybe you've been thinking for weeks now, oh, one of these weeks I'll get around to fixing it. Well, in today's short video, we're gonna show you exactly how to lubricate these hinges on your door. We're gonna talk about what lubricants you should use and which ones you should not use. And it all starts right now. everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel again where we give you world-class home renovation tips, bathroom renovations, flooring, all types of home repairs around your house. And guess what? Today we're talking about these squeaky hinges here. So if this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below there and click that bell icon next to it. That way you'll never miss another one of our videos. So check out what this hinge is doing here. Listen to this. Sounds like the haunted mansion at Disney World, doesn't it? Prepare for your doom. Okay, so the first step in combating the squeaky hinges here is determining what type of lubricant should I use? Well, if you ask a million people, you're going to get a million different answers. But the world is basically divided into two different groups here. Some people want a dry lubricant like this Medico spray here. This is a dry film lubricant. While others want to use like this uh, blaster here. This is silicone, a spray silicone. So the people that are against wet types of lubricants, they're against it because they think that the wet lubricants in your lithium grease is that they think they're going to maybe capture dirt and dust and they'll grind down and maybe they'll stop working or, or fail, okay? This one here, some people prefer the dry because this will get in there and lubricate the parts, but yet it'll stay nice and dry. It will never collect any dust or anything. So if you look right here at this top hinge, you can see one of the problems here. See how, I don't know why people do this, why this pin was stuck in the up position there, but it looks like they had done some painting. So great, now they got paint on the pin. So you're probably better off pulling that pin out if you can and trying to clean it off, sand it down, clean it off real good put it back in or you can even spray some of the lubricant on there and then put it back in and see if that helps. Now as we look down at the other two hinges, here you can see there's the middle hinge it looks okay I don't really see anything wrong and then the lower hinge down at the bottom there. So they both look okay here it's just that upper one that has a little issue. Okay so we've now taken care of the pin and pounded it back into place and Frankly, I don't know why this front door was set up like that anyway, because that means somebody from the outside could pound that pin and remove it and potentially take the other two out as well. And then there goes your front door. They can take your front door right off. So that really doesn't make much sense to me. What I'm going to do here today is I'm going to use both of these lubricants. So I'm going to start off with the dry lubricant and apply it to the upper hinge. And then we'll use the silicone lubricant, the other spray can on the lower two hinges and we'll see if they both work here. Now, I prefer to use this dry film one. This is made by Medico. This is the company that makes my lock that I have at home. And every once in a while, I'll spray this into the key opening. And what this does is this is a lubricant and a cleaner. And they say it's guaranteed to not uh, attract dust and it coats all of the inside workings with a polymeric coating. So we'll see how it does here on the hinge. So the instructions here with this is they want you to shake it up. There's a ball in there like with paint, spray paint. So you've got to shake it up first. So this medical lubricant here, it's called Key Lube. It's a multi-purpose dry film lubricant. So now I'm going to go ahead and spray the upper hinge with the dry film as well. And you can see it just doesn't take very much at all. Okay, the door's still reasonably quiet. Little squeak down at the bottom. So now we're going to try the silicone on the bottom hinge. Spray some silicone right on it. Now here's something that makes us go, hmm, because when it says here, here's the different uses here for it. Notice how it doesn't mention door hinges. It, it does on the lower left, you can see it's, it mentions door, or window and door tracks but it does not say you could use this lubricant to stop squeaky door hinges. So we'll see if it works anyway on that bottom hinge. Okay, so now we're going to spray it on the hinge there. So remember that's a wet type lubricant, so you'll see it dripping 
a lot more than the dry film medical spray lubricant that I used there on that squeaky upper hinge there, the, the two upper hinges. So it did a great job as a dry film lubricant. That Medico did a great job stopping most of the door squeaking here. So let's see if we move the door. Well, that, that noise that you hear there, that's just the door pinching against the, um, that's the, the weather stripping there. But at least, so if you, when you start with the door closed and you open it, remember how before it was squeaking like the haunted mansion? Look at that, silence. Silence is gold and all I'm hearing is crickets here. Well, there's three types of lubricant that I think you should keep in stock at all times. One would be this Medico type with the uh, dry film lubricant. The other one would be a spray silicone type. And the third one, which I don't have here with me, is a can of what they call aluminum lubricant. They sell them at Home Depot and I'll put a link to it down below if, if we can find one for you. And what that does is you use that on like door tracks. So if you have sliding glass doors, you spray those about every couple of months and that will keep your doors rolling nice and smooth there. And lastly, I know a lot of people always like to tell you, oh, you know, use WD-40, use WD-40. WD-40 is not so much of a lubricant as it is a rust protector and a, um, I guess you could call it a water displacement. That's really what WD-40 stands for. It stands for water displacement formula number 40. So it was originally designed to protect the outside of rockets from rusting. So it's not really a lubricant in the sense that you would normally think. So whenever I, I hear people say, oh, put WD-40 on it, I'm a little skeptical. I tend to go for real lubricants, okay? So anyway, I hope this was helpful. And if you found this helpful, go ahead and smash that like button down below there. Make sure you click on that subscribe button down below click the gray bell icon next to it that way you'll always be aware and alerted every time we upload a new video because you don't want to miss our videos well that's it for this week folks and we'll see you on the next one